Citizens World, and today we're going to be reading Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas. Okay. By... By Aaron Bladbleby, I think. You know. Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas. If you want that, if you want to read that, you can pause the video. I'll show you the end, too. Pause the video if you want to read this stuff. I'm not reading it, Doug. <laughs> Alright, that'd be mean if I was. Okay. Piranhas don't eat bananas. Piranhas don't eat bananas. Hey there, guys. Would you like a banana? What's wrong with you, Brian? You're a piranha. Well, how about some silver beets? Are you serious, Brian? We eat feet. Or would you rather a bowl of peas? Stop it, Brian. We eat knees. Well, I bet you'd like some juicy plums. That's it, Brian. We eat bums. We don't eat apples, we don't eat beans, we don't eat veggies, we don't eat greens, we don't eat melons, we don't eat bananas. And the reason is simple, pal, we are piranhas. Well, I think that's silly, guys. Fruit is the best. We can't take more, mu more, much, much more of this. Give it a rest. Okay, I'll stop then. You'll hear no more chatter, but only if you try my awesome fruit platter. Give it here then. He thinks it's so sweet. So, so what do you guys, oh wait, so what do you think guys, is it yucky or yum? It's very nice, Brian, but we still prefer bum. That was a nice story, everyone. It's by the same offer as Pig the Pug. We still have some spare time, so be right back. Okay. Uh, one second. We're going to read book one of Pig the Pug. Look at his eyes. Look at him and his pug mouth. Okay, ready for Pig the Pug, everyone? This book belongs to Pig. Pig the Pug. Pig the Pug. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say, he was greedy and selfish in most every way. Okay, let me get a little back for you. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor, but when was he nice to him? I'll tell you never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. Okay. 
But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine! Didn't you hear? Only mine! You keep your paws off them! Oh, they are mine, mine, mine! I know what your game is. You want me to share. But I'll never do that. I won't and I swear. Look at his face, guys. <laughs> and also, and with that, I, that he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. What is that? Is that spit? No, it's bumps. Oh. And make a make a big pile with a huff and a puff. I don't know if I read that. So. Just in case. Okay. And once he gather, gathered them up in a pile, he held from the top with a satisfied smile. Hmm. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. Mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see that the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did say. But the shame of it was... Well, pugs cannot fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor is and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together. While Pig's on the bend. Mend, I think. There, mend. That was a good, those were good books, everyone. Bye!